Hello there and welcome to Adicraft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this fantastic tree monster base in your world. Uh, this is inspired by Green and Palescent Moon's build for Mumbo Jumbo on the Hermitcraft server. Uh, I'll be linking all of their videos of course down in the description so make sure you do check those out. But I wanted to add my own spin to this and basically give Teresa a big brother. So yeah check it out and there is a full world download and full interior for this build as well uh, which I'll be running through later in the, the video. Here are the materials you'll need for the build including the interior so make sure you've collected everything. The build itself takes a space of 21 blocks by 35 blocks and is 30 blocks tall. Here's a floor plan for the build which I've colour coded for you. I will also be showing you one of these for each of the different levels that I create. This does only include the structural blocks as I will be running through the interior of the build at the end of the video and if there is enough interest I will do a full block by block for the interior but there will be a world download available for this world from my discord so make sure you check that out. Here's the colour coding for you to take down so that you can make sure that you put all the right blocks in the right places. Starting out first of all with layer 1, then we're placing a lot of the stone that the tree monster has got his foot on. I'm doing this in a slightly different way to most of my tutorials because it is an organic build. So what I've done is I've sped the footage up to two times speed for you so you can see every block that I'm placing in a first person view. Now you can actually use the functionality within YouTube to go in and change the speed to uh, a slower speed so you can put it as half speed and actually just see this in real time if you wish. Uh, the one thing to note when I'm pl placing out the blocks is in the key where I said leaves, I am actually just mixing up just at random a variety of the two azalea leaf types when I'm putting these down. Uh, so it does say leaves, obviously you can use whatever leaves you like. Carrying on to layer 2, the main thing to note is if I am placing any overhangs you may need to place some temporary blocks in order to get those in the right places. The other thing to note going through this build is that where we are having those overhangs then you might want to place a block beneath so you can get the wood grain in the right direction. Entirely up to you, it doesn't make too much difference but it can end in a better finished result. So yeah, just mainly placing some more of the stone and some more of the wood and moss types for the other leg. On to layer 3 and it's worth saying at this point that on each of the different layers where I've put on the floor plans for them I have picked out some of the key dimensions. I haven't put everything on there because I didn't want them to get too busy and it's quite obvious where some of the blocks are but generally where there's a space of more than two blocks then I've marked those on there uh, and anywhere where it's not obvious for you to see. So again, just carrying on, finishing off the stone on this layer and finishing off the third layer of the leg.
Layer 4 is where we start on the second leg on top of the stone. So I've obviously just used some, some regular stone. You could use whatever stone you wanted in there. Um, if you wanted to build this underground, for example, you could use some of the cobbled deep slate and that would look really, really good as well. As with all of the blocks, really, you can switch them out. These are just the block palette that I thought would be more easy to get and was a 1.17 related block palette. So we're building up the legs now and then just carrying on through the layers. Moving on through layer 5, then it's worth reminding you that there is a world download linked through in the description if you play on Java. If you play on Bedrock, you can take that Java uh, download and you can convert that to a Bedrock world as well if you wish. Uh, there is also going to be a file including all of the individual layers for this build so that you can just look at each of the footprints for those uh, and check back to those quite easily. So make sure you do check that out. Layer six, and on the right hand side, you'll see some leaves. Uh, just measure those out and generally block up from the ground for where to place those. I don't actually place them in this clip or in the next one, um, just because I didn't notice them whilst I was building it. So uh, the clip shows all of the rest of the build. And then in a couple of clips time, I come and fill in just those extra leaf blocks and the start of the arm that's holding the mumbo van. For layer 7, when we are building this, obviously we are adding in some of the red mushroom blocks. Now with the brown mushroom blocks that I've got in the key and shown on the, uh, the floor plan bits, then I do mix in some of the regular and the white terracotta, I'm sorry, the brown and the white terracotta a bit later in the build, just to add a bit of variety to that. You can do that, it's completely optional to you if you wish to do that. Um, but again, in this clip, I don't show any of the stuff on the right hand side.
let her eight now and this is where we connect the two legs together and start building up the torso again in this clip i don't show anything on the right i think that's it in a couple of clips time that i actually just fill that in um, but yeah at this point it becomes easier in survival because you now have a bridge between the two sections so you can build from that For layer 9, this is where we continue the central section and linking that up. This is also the first layer of the actual Mumbo bus. There's a separate clip that I run through the entire Mumbo bus build a little bit later on in the video. Layer 10 next, and this is the layer where I realise that I haven't built any of the section on the right hand side. So at the end of this clip you will see me going back and just filling in all of the blocks for those layers. Uh, and then following that I will show you the clip of how to build the entire bus in one go. As mentioned at this point I noticed that I hadn't built any of the leaf blocks or the start of the arm on the right hand side so again so that you can see how this is done if you just follow through these bits you didn't have to build them in layers you can build it in one go uh, and if you do this is how you do it. What I'm building now is the fingers. Now these are the fingers that are obviously clinging to the bus and hooking round underneath. And these then connect through to the hand and the arm in a short while.
Here I figured it would be easier to start and just build the bus itself which is relatively simple in one go. So as mentioned this is the bus that Mumbo built as his initial starter base in the, on the Hermitcraft server for the start of season 8. Uh, basically we're going to start with a layer of the quartz slabs and putting in some of the wheels. Those are using some of the, uh, the coal blocks uh, and then once we've done that we add in a couple of full blocks at the back of the van and start adding in some of the coloured blocks so obviously this is the classic VW colour it's slightly different to what Mumbo's used because I threw in some prismarine if you don't have access to prismarine when you're building this you can actually just use cyan wool instead um, but yeah again mixing up the blocks is quite quite good so we build the walls of this and then we start adding in some further pillars for this at the back add in some glass for all of the windows for this uh, and then we also add in to this uh, some more some more wall and the front windscreen. On the side of this we add in some of the iron trap doors that we then use some levers in order to close those and power the blocks. And then we just finish this off with a roof which is again using some quartz stairs and then some quartz blocks in the middle. For the details we're going to be using some of the glowing item frames and at the front we're using some of the raw gold ore as the front lights which looks really good and then at the back we've got some of the chains for some exhaust pipes, some red beds that we've rotated for the back lights and then some signs as the license plates. For layer 11 we're back to the main part of the build and obviously we've built the whole of the van now so we're just going to ignore the parts of that that are on the, the details. Obviously if you're building it layer by layer you may not have built that yet. Um, but yeah just building up mainly the torso of the build and where the arm and the hand are going to start connecting to the body. Level 12 is more of the torso and also the top of the bus which we've of course already done uh, and also don't forget the start of the thumb that will be holding the edge of the bus as well. For level 13 we're mainly carrying on with the torso of the build and this gets into the start of the chest as well of the tree monster and we've also got quite a bit of work on the hand that's holding the bus but we also need to block out to the other side of the build because this is going to be the first time that we're going to be placing blocks for the other hand.
Layer 14 now, and once we've finished this layer, we're halfway through the build. So we need to add a lot more to the torso and the hand holding the bus, but also we block out some more uh, blocks to the left-hand side of this build in order to add some more detail for the, the new hand that we've started. For level 15 we start on the uh, lower jaw of the tree monster itself on the center part of the build but also when you're looking at the left and the right hand sides make sure that where we do place some stairs that you get those stairs in the right orientation. Layer 16 again has quite a lot of stairs involved so make sure that you place these in the right orientations when you're doing the build.
Layer 17 and we continue to build up the main portion of the tree monster itself. At this point also we include some tinted glass in the mouth. If you wanted to just use black glass or no glass at all you could do, uh, but the tinted glass gives quite a nice effect from the outside. For layer 18 we are carrying on the main part of the body and also the left hand. Uh, we've got some more of the tinted glass in for the mouth and there's quite a lot of stairs so make sure that you get these in the right directions as well. Uh, there aren't any of the details being added as you'll have noticed because this comes in a clip later on in the video where we add things like the pointed dripstone for the claws and the teeth.
The 19th layer is mainly working on the body and the cavity that is going to be the interior later. Uh, so the only other thing to really note is that there is some more blocking out on the left hand side for one of the fingers that's just floating at the moment so make sure you get that in the right position. In layer 20 we're adding the main flooring section for the upstairs where the bedroom's going to go later on. So the only thing to notice here is where we've got the oak planks there are some oak stairs as well that are going to be upside down uh, for later on so make sure again those are the, the correct way up so that we can place some stuff on top of them. As a reminder, where I've got the brown mushroom blocks on the key, uh, I am actually using a variation on that. I'm mixing up the blocks mainly with some brown mushroom blocks, but with also some white and some light grey terracotta blocks, just to add a little bit of colour difference.
Layer 21 and we are filling in the main part of the cavity that is the interior of the upstairs. So after this layer we need to be aware that we will probably need some temporary blocks so that we can start bringing the blocks back inwards uh, and start curving them over in a nice organic fashion. In layer 22 we are starting on the eyes themselves as well so I've used some shroom lights in this build but any of the lighting full blocks would work. You could use yourself some of the pumpkins if you wanted, some of the, um, the jack-o'-lanterns rather, or you could use some glowstone or even some sea lanterns. So it's entirely up to you which lighting block that you use in there but I think that the shroom lights look quite good. For layer 23 we're doing the second level of the eyes and with this comes the details around the eyebrows and the stare that you've got on your tree monster so make sure you get those blocks in the right orientation for that.
For layer 24, we're going to be starting putting some of the ceiling on the right hand side of the build. So yeah, we'll get that on in place. If you are blocking things in and you're building this in survival, obviously make sure that you do light up the interior so that you don't get any nasty creepers spawning inside. For the 25th layer we're very close to the end now and we are adding the rest of the ceiling in place so make sure you get that in place and then we'll just be adding the finishing touches. Layers 26, 27 and 28 are just finishing off the blocks for the build itself so we'll get these in place and then we will run through the decoration. Now you've finished the build, it's just time to add the decoration to the exterior. 
Uh, and the first thing, obviously, for the teeth and for the claws we're going to add is the pointed drip stone for this. But once you've done that, it really is up to you how you go about decorating this. Uh, the main blocks that I'm going to be using are some of the glow lichen, some of the hanging roots and some of the glow berries, but also throwing in some of the vines as well. But you could use whatever you want. Then also using some of the um, the little azalea trees because they're, they're lovely and some grass again just mixing in over there to make it look a bit overgrown and make it look a bit more tree like uh, one thing to note is if you are using the glowberries the glow lichen or of course the regular vines that you might want to put some string on the bottom or all around those so they don't spread too much otherwise they can pretty much take over your build um, but yeah it's entirely up to you how you go about do that, doing it uh, so just add some decoration to the outside of your tree monster Now with all the decoration finished, I have just taken Treeston, Treeza's older brother, and plumped him in this lovely world, just looking over this swamp. So he's really, really happy here holding Mumbo's bus. Um, but yeah, if, for anybody interested, I am using the BSL 8.0 shaders. Uh, and I think they, they make everything really, really pop and come to life. So this world will be available as well for you to download if you're interested. And you can actually just play this world because it's a normal vanilla survival world. But as we head here, we've got the first entrance. So we've got a little button entrance here and it comes into a full smelting array. And the ambience in here is really, really nice. We've got loads of storage. We've got all of these furnaces, eight furnaces, which all feed into chests down here through some hoppers and then of course we've got blast furnaces as well now that we can uh, get all of the ore blocks and some smokers too so really really like this space and this if we go up the ladder leads us through into the library so coming through into the library this is really a decorative room and like the central core of the tree monster and again taken uh, taken some inspiration from what mumbo did with the interior with the mezzanine floors there but we've got this library with all of the amethyst all of the candles which are a lovely addition to the 1.17 blocks just in here and i think it does look fantastic each of the different areas there we've got very stony here loads and loads of wood um, and i'll show you the other areas now as well as we come down through here we are in a swamp so we have got dirty water but uh, we have also got this little brewing setup with everything that you need and we've got some barrels in here as well so you can store all of your potions and you've got your ender chest and your uh, crafting station so down into the other leg we have and i'll just pop outside first we have the back door comes into the back of the 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 build itself so you can get to this through both ways um, but only if you can learn how to use doors which i clearly can't but coming in here you've got your full enchanting setup and this is what i meant so this is much it's still a different vibe because we've got all of this mushroom we've got all of this dripstone you've got a real different vibe coming in here and i'm really really happy with how this this all turned out uh, heading back up here to the next section through our brewing area through our library we can come up this ladder 
to the first of the mezzanine floors and again we've got loads more storage for everything that you can need you can start to see through uh, the the mouth there and we'll go to that in a second but what i wanted to show you is down here again we've got just this little bit coming off here and all of this goes down and through and we can actually get into the van so we've got a little bedroom not the master bedroom but just a little bedroom set up here with some candles a bed and again a little bit more storage so if you're flying in with your elytra you could just head straight in through this way as well so heading up to the last bit of the build and there are some ladders if we can use those as well professional minecrafter here we just head down here We've got this lovely view out through this tinted glass and I've got some glass panes here as well um, that would be optional just to make it a bit more dark from the outside when you're looking in through the mouth but a beautiful beautiful view now you could use tinted glass or put some other windows in or you could just keep Triston like this but the final thing that I'm going to show you is upstairs here we've got a lovely little seating area and then we come over to a little little sleeping area and what you could actually do over here is probably you could put yourself a little armor stand with all of your armor on and you've got yeah some more storage coming up here a little jukebox there and just a lovely bed um, so yeah overall really really happy with how this has turned out I hope you've enjoyed it as well like I said if you are interested and there is enough interest in the video then I will do a block by block for the interior as well because I'm really really pleased with how this has turned out um, but all that's left to be said is thank you very very much for watching uh, if you have enjoyed it make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button and do let me know in the comments all of those things really really do help a large number of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed so it really is appreciated if you do hit that subscribe button for me and all that's left to be said is thank you very much for watching and i will see you all next time on adcraft bye